Hey everyone and welcome to another Rope for a Q video and a special collaboration video. My first collaboration on the channel with uh, a chap I'm sure you probably watched called Work, Rest and Play Snooker. And we met up last week and we played a few frames and he's also done a video so if you want to watch these videos in sort of chronological order as we played them in the room go ahead and go and watch his video first I'll leave a link up in the top corner here you may well have come straight from watching his video because I believe he published it about an hour before me you'll have heard in his video we played three frames from scratch and in my video I wanted to have a chance of winning a frame so we decided we'd play with a handicap and we used the scores from the first three frames to work out what a sensible handicap would be and we came up with initially 15 so that's what we started with we play from 15 so let's take a look at this first frame from a 15 handicap so off we go meter break in this first frame of my uh, handicap session as you see got the handicap set to 15 so a couple of things to say about my video quality, I, well, because I wasn't in my own club, I hadn't had my, I didn't get, really get sort of my camera set up exactly right for the conditions, so um, one thing about uh, the club we played at here, which is a really nice club, the um, LED lights obviously work on a slightly different frequency than the LED lights at my own club, so I ended up getting a little bit of flicker on my video and I looked at how to fix that which I hopefully have it's less flickery than it was but the result is that there's a little bit of motion blur which you'll see uh, probably on the higher pace shots more than anything but I don't think it's too bad so hopefully you won't find it too distracting So, a fairly decent start, both made some points, and uh, yeah, I've just Andy's left me with this tempter with the long rest, well the, the rest and the extension, which I do manage to get in, but yeah, didn't really get anywhere with the old um, colour position, so just a safety shot really not well it was a it was a shot to nothing really tried to get the black in didn't want to get right up behind the colours in case the black did go in but uh, left it awkward so there was only a safety shot on for Andy and he's played an absolutely magnificent safety there left me snookered on all reds so I'm having to come off the cautions here and yeah need more practice of that I am working on my snooker practice routine which is turning into a bit more of a snooker game I guess um, which I know sounds odd because the game we play is snooker but it's a, a game specifically about getting snookers no point involved I don't know we'll see look out for that in September anyway good start from Andy and a good pot on the blue he's just a little bit unlucky that he's missed the cannon on the pack there and he's just gone through the pack and left himself a little bit Awkward. Well, he's, he's not really left himself anything easy on, so he's taking this long red up to the top left hand corner and he's not a million miles away, but hitting at that pace, there's always a danger he's going to leave it off the pocket if he misses, which is exactly what's happened. Um, and I managed to get that in, but again, don't really commit to the pot and end up in balk. Um, so I tried to play the pot, and I do actually play the pot on the green, which I'm pretty happy with. I didn't roll up behind the green, which would have been an option, but play the pot uh, and then try and play a safety onto the put the cue ball on the black cushion and that goes wrong because I get a double kiss uh, but lucky that I didn't get I didn't leave Andy anything easy so he did go for that pot looking for perfect position on the blue which he got the position on the blue but didn't quite get the pot um, I went for the pot there as well trying to get position on the black and that didn't go particularly right so not a great um, couple of minutes a uh, good safety attempt from Andy but just catches the blue and that is incredibly unlucky that blue just kept on rolling these tables man they, I mean I've played on some pretty good tables myself they're not my club ones but they're, they're, the club ones are okay but they're not great but my coach's table is a you know, rather aristocrat 
heated with a, a strachan, a, a stra, whatever the word is, strachan, straw, uh, competition cloth. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, his table is fast, but these are really quick. Uh, I struggle to get the judge of the pace of these cloths. And um, yeah, that blue that went in, you saw, just kept on rolling. And uh, yeah. I went for the pot in that one, didn't quite get it, but I was lucky that it didn't actually end up going in off really, uh, in which case I left Andy a really awkward pot, but what a pot that is, and uh, he's got himself a chance of this medium blue, but he's not there, and that, look at that keyboard, just keeps rolling and rolling. So sort of a shot to nothing here, trying to get this l bottom red out towards the corner pocket but don't get anywhere near the pot really and uh, because I undercut it I end up hitting, uh, the, the cue ball comes further down the table from the block area than I would have liked but then Andy plays a pretty good safety shot, also just slightly over hit um, so it ends up sort of in the middle of the table a little bit but the reds are all pretty safe uh, just a safety shot here, just about managed to avoid the pack there and pretty happy with that one, although I have left this red to the left corner, which is a shame. But Andy plays it very nicely and ends up running again at the table, plays it as a shot to nothing and that cue ball just keeps running behind the blue. Now I would probably roll up here but that's not in Andy's playbook. Uh, certainly not in friendly, and uh, yeah, he uh, tries to pot it and going on the pack, which has uh, not quite worked out. But he's not left me anything easy. Just uh, sort of sh safety shot, which I kind of was half going for the pot there, but just didn't get the the pace was not compatible with um, leaving the cue ball safe. So I just ended up not not getting anywhere near it really. And bit of a trampoline shot from Andy but he's kind of left me in here but the black is safe, the pink is safe so what have I got here, do I have to go up the table for blue? I do, I take the slightly harder red trying to go up the table for the blue or a bought colour and I was actually playing the pot on the brown there but yeah that wasn't good another not so good shot but I'm maintain, basically maintaining my lead here. Uh, well, I was. That was a very good long pot. And he's landed pretty nicely on this brown. He could have done with just running a little bit further to be on the, to be higher on it. As it is, he's going to have to stun it in and take a medium length red. Left, him, left himself a tricky one there but it's unfortunate uh, so just a safety shot from me try to clip off this red, this red get back around the ball maybe behind the ball colour and that's exactly what's happened tap on the table from Andy he did actually ask me if that's what I played for and honestly like I always play for that kind of area but I mean I don't specifically play for landing exactly tucked up behind the brown so it's, it's one of those really, obviously playing safety behind the ball colours but very fortunate to get exactly behind the brown like that. Another safety shot, this time trying to get behind the yellow, um, didn't quite work out but it's okay. A good safety shot from Andy though, play the red onto the red and then get round, can he just sneak past the yellow? Not quite, but still pretty solid. Left me this chance of a long red here but not really much of a colour on so... Um, well, there was a. <laughs> they did end up being a colour on, but only because I missed the pot. So, um, and that's left Andy a chance here. He's done this in and stay on the black. He can, and should be able to get this black in and stay on the one on the cushion. Yeah, that's exactly what he's done. Just left himself a little bit of an angle to get back out for the black. not quite in the pocket but look at that positional shot 
exactly what he wanted to do as he pointed out. So one to the middle for me. Bit of an unfortunate kiss on the blue, or cannon on the blue, probably should have been able to avoid it. But the pink was always there, but it's a thin one. It looks, I mean, I end up missing it because I tried to play it really thin and catch it on the way back off the cushion. So that's uh, why I missed that. But it was, it's, I think it was thinner than it looked there. Okay, nice position on the black, but it didn't quite get the red. So this, and it's rolled to a Potable position, but middle pockets on this table are brutal. But there is my my one fluke of the session. I think we both had one fluke of the session. Actually, no, I had a second one. Um, so yeah, so that's the uh, that's a fluke, unfortunately. But wasn't able to convert with a colour, so it doesn't make a huge difference other than taking points off of the table. left Andy in amongst them here, well amongst them, there's not many left to be amongst them I guess but that's a good shot, get out from uh, the black and judge that pace permanently to get behind a red uh, you're probably going to have to take the slightly more difficult red though I think depends on what angle he's got here Yeah, he took the slightly more difficult one, but he played it well. It's just ended up a little close to the black. But it's okay though, he's just having to queue over the other red though, which might add a little bit more complication to the shot. But again, another well played shot and perfectly judged position. So they're trying to get behind the yellow to get the yellow back on its spot, but it's just not quite. He's that kind of betwixt in between for the middle or the left uh, the right corner. Uh, but he plays it in the middle and it goes in but wow that cue ball went in a million miles an hour as well and that was very unlucky um, so this is possibly my worst shot of the night I honestly do not know what I was thinking there if that had gone in I would have been snooping on the green uh, I, just, I just honestly was not thinking through that I think I, I probably cut out a fairly long conversation that we'd had there about uh, Andy's un unlucky, uh, bad luck in that um, cue ball going in and then when I got back to the table I just wasn't concentrating. I think Andy did actually play, play the double there but thinking it probably would run safe if he missed it. So just a safety from me, trying to get behind the black but don't quite manage it. But at least the green has run past the middle pocket and uh, he's having to queue over the black here so it's almost as good as a snooker uh, but he plays it well and he almost snookers me but as it is he's left me a tempter but do I take it on or do I try and play safe just try to play safe again trying to get behind the black not quite Tried to cut that in. I felt like I probably could, but with the rest, it was going to be tricky to judge. And left it. I mean, it's close to the cushion, but yeah, still fancy him to pot it. Just very difficult to get out for the brown with it being dead straight like that. But a good shot on the brown, and he's got the shot on the blue. Uh, he just needs the blue really, um, all I can do is tie if he misses and in it goes and he's not too far off good position on the pink as well which he does play but I, wouldn't, I probably wouldn't have come back to the table he goes in, it's a good shot can he get black for the tall clearance, he can get pretty good position on it so And in it goes, a really nice little clearance there from Andy and comprehensive victory. 
Anyway, that's frame one done, and as you saw, a comprehensive victory from Andy. I did try, I did manage to keep him behind for quite a while. It was just on those colours at the end. He did uh, very nicely on that last sort of clearance, and uh, yeah, I couldn't really get get back to the table, really, which is you know it's fine. Um, after that, though, we decided to maybe up the handicap a little bit, um, so we decided to try from twenty. So the next frame is from twenty. So see if I can win this one with a slightly higher handicap. So I need to brake this time. Puts a lot of side on his brakes, but plays it really nicely. And uh, yeah, very good brake. I can only really get to the sort of right hand side of the pack through the gap there. And I did worry that I was going to hit the pink, but I don't think I did. And tap on the table for Andy, he didn't think I hit the pink, so we play on. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that shot. I did cut a lot of thinking time <laughs> from that shot. Uh, but another great shot from when he gets a little bit of help from the yellow which is fine because I always I always need sometimes, the, I don't always, but sometimes I need the bottom colours to help me with a safety shot which is what happened there. So I try and get back to Bork as well but just catch that one too thick and leave Andy with a chance to this right corner and the possibility of holding for the black. Oh, but he doesn't quite do it. Ends up overcutting it which, well, does mean he doesn't get on the black either and he's kind of got away with it a little bit but I had an easy safety shot there and I mess it up I really shouldn't be hitting the, hitting the blue when I'm coming straight off one uh, one red like that very disappointed with myself uh, give Andy another chance uh, tricky one though he doesn't quite get it and has he left me anything here well he's left me a couple of opportunities there's a red here that I might be able to get and run through for the black I was done for the black rather, but I don't get the shot right. But my turn to get away with it a little bit, so just a safety shot from Andy, trying to get up behind the yellow. And he's not far off, but decent safety, not quite tucked in behind the yellow, which I'm sure he was trying, but... So, just a safety from me, and this time I hit it too thin, to try to hit it a bit thicker to, to avoid that red, the second cannon on the red, but didn't quite get it right. And yeah, again, lucky to not leave anything a little easier than this. He went for it and it didn't go in and he's left it for me. So can I get this in and get on a colour? I can I screw back nicely for the blue. Could have done with screwing back another few inches so just to be on the other side of this blue. And as it happens, I just probably should have given that a little bit more to try and come on and off the cushion for one of the other reds. Uh, as it is, I left myself tight on the cushion, which I still would have fancied myself to put it, but the middle pockets on these tables are pretty brutal. Um, but straight on like that, I still fancied myself to put it. So, just as... No, he tries to double, not quite. Fair play to him. Uh, just trying to stun this in and get on the pink. Or the black, rather. And... Um, yeah, don't get that in either. So this red does pass the other red for the pocket. And you can see he's actually ended up hitting the near jaw, so um, it would have passed, but I didn't quite get it right. Uh, that answers on a postcard what that shot was. Oh I was trying to I was trying to I was trying to come off the red and get the cue ball to go towards the pocket to put that red in, but I ended up putting too much screw on it and didn't judge it right. That's what I was trying on that last shot. It was terrible. You give Andy an easy starter with the black in play. Uh, plays that nicely though, splits the red up a bit more. Just a little bit hampered over this red though. Oh, he's got the red in, but just doesn't have enough to get past the, uh, the red for the black and ends up just uh, rather than getting the the extensions and spiders and all that kind of stuff out, he just gets, uh, just plays off the cushion. Um, managed to get that one in okay, but um, really not much ch chance of a colour playing it like that, so just a safety shot, trying to get in behind the yellow. I wasn't far off. Just wanted to leave it on the le yellow side of the table, because then that would cut off those more uh, the, the simpler pots. 
Uh, so he's missed that one. Uh, left me a thinnish one for the corner, which I get in, and I just need the white to hold up for the pink, which it does. So I'm still sort of maintaining, I mean, it's still early days in this frame, but I'm maintaining my 20 point lead. If this goes in, which it doesn't, it would have been a nice uh, bonus, but doesn't go in. And I played it for position as well, so I left Andy a, a chance here. Uh, Black is uh, tied up a little bit though, or, well, not tied up, but awkward. Oh, he's missed it though. I didn't expect him to miss that, to be fair. I don't think he expected to miss it. And, um,. It's left me a chance. Can I get this in and disturb the black? I can. Disturbed it a little bit too much though. Probably should, probably could have just been rolled off the cushion about a foot and it would have been alright into the middle, but as it is, this is tricky. And I think Andy thought that was in. He was about to try and pick it off the pocket, but uh, didn't quite go in, unfortunately. Uh, nice middle pocket pot. Awkward on the cushion there for, uh, for the queuing. And he's now on this black. Yeah, he gets that nice thing. Is he going to find a colour? Well, I think he is. I think this red passes the pink into the middle, but these, as I said, these middle pockets are not very forgiving. So just playing it as slow as possible, which is fine because the blue's there. So the comeback is definitely on. It's almost got back the handicap. Yeah, nice pot and nicely on the black. So gets this in and he's back in the lead, which he does. So 22 break. Can he make it 23? Oh, not quite. He's rolled it in, went for it full blooded, but it, because of that, it's bounced back off the knuckle and left it for me. So I just stop it dead for the blue and try and get round for one of these two that are sort of stuck together. I do think uh, the top one of the two pots though, uh, it does but I just, yeah I mean Andy's very generous with his tips and stuff like that so he, he was saying that I played that shot wrong, if I just rolled through it would have been okay uh, and I would have been on the black but I felt like I was going to get stuck on the other red, so I'm not sure, maybe could have, that's one I would have liked back I think after we had a discussion about it. Um, yeah, Andy's definitely very, uh, you know, very open to giving me advice and stuff like that, not all good players you play in the club certainly would uh, would offer you uh, advice or tell you what you're doing wrong kind of thing, so thank you for that. But I'm back in the lead, and got this blue and that is probably my best pot of the session. Um, nothing but net, I think, as Andy said in the in the room. And just trying to. I, I thought about going for the middle, but I thought that the corner pocket was actually an easier pot. Again, because the middle pockets are so brutal. Uh, and I wasn't far off, but again, played it full blooded and ended up leaving it for Andy, which was probably a little bit of a mistake. It cuts the green in, but obviously there's no reds really potable, so he's going to play the double here. Oh, he actually tries to cut it in. Now he might have covered it with the green and brown. I think he has, otherwise, I probably would have got down and played this by now. Yeah, so what am I going to do? I think what I try and do is just clip this red near the pink and try and keep the... Oh. So, unfortunately my camera died during this frame. Uh, still not sure why. I'm guessing it probably overheated. It was quite warm in the room. So I'm just showing, showing you the scoreboard as what it was at Andy's electronic, well I say Andy, Andy's club's electronic scoreboards definitely helped me with the editing here. Um, so yeah, my camera stopped, Not still not sure why, probably overheated, but normally it says when it's overheated, but it, it, did, it just was sat in standby when I went to check why it wasn't uh, recording. 
Um, so that we missed probably two, maybe three minutes, but a few points were exchanged, and that's uh, what it was when I realised when the camera was turned back on. So uh, just so full full clarity, as I said, probably lost about two or three minutes. Uh, certainly lost uh, a couple of pots. Uh, that, those two reds with colours, and um, yeah. This is a bit of a shame, but that is the only interruption in this session. And I have actually bought a new table camera, which will hopefully stop that from happening. But that probably has its own issues. <laughs> we'll see. I haven't actually used it very much yet. Uh, nice green into the middle. Almost brings the pink out into a potable position. Um, well, I mean, it's potable, but into an easier potable position. Uh, nice brown, plays it as a drag shot, trying to get round the blue, round the blue for the um, pot into the right corner, which it ends up running a little bit far. So it tries to cut it in, but because he overcut it, it's gone safe on the cushion. Excuse me. Uh, so safety shot from me, and end up not quite getting it right and putting the blue over the corner pocket which is not great. I need to concentrate more on getting the, the object ball safe than the cue ball uh, because that has given Andy a chance and he's played that really well. He, he definitely played for that to move the, gr uh, move the pink off the cushion. So it just needs the pink. Oh, but it doesn't go in, it wasn't far off. Is he going to leave it for me? No, not really. Not a difficult cut into the mid, into the left top right corner rather, or safety shot. And I really just, I didn't take enough time there to think about what I wanted to do there, and just played a pretty bad shot. I was very lucky that the pink ran safe there. Again, concentrating more on the cue ball than the object ball, which is not the way you want to play this kind of situation. But in fairness. And he's also made a little bit of a mistake there and left me this long pink, uh, which I play full blooded and miss. That was a chance. I think I would have at least had a shot on the black, even if it wasn't an easy shot. Uh, so can Andy get this this pink in and put another frame to bed? I will say that he can't. I will say that whatever happens, we play a third frame. We did decide that we'd play through all three frames just to, uh, you know, because we had the time. So um, it, it, whatever happens, even if Andy does win this frame, we will play a third frame. Which I think was the same for Andy's video. But that is a lovely long pink, and uh, yeah, that is the frame. Barring, uh, well, a miracle. <laughs> it would have to be a miracle. Yeah, so another frame goes begging, and it's a shame because I felt like I was in that one till the very end. That long pink at the end there went just a bit wrong, and that was the chance, really. If I'd have got that in, okay, I might not have been perfect on the black, but I think I would have had a shot, or, or at least maybe a chance to put it safe. Uh, and, yeah, you never know. But didn't get that pink in. I went for it. I could have played safe, but I went for it. Anyway, we move on to the third frame. Even though I can't win the match, if you like, uh, I did was playing for pride at this point, and also just to see if uh, if we do play next time, whether I need an increase in the handicap. So let's see how I do in this third frame. So off I go with this break, and I don't get enough side on it get the wrong side of the blue and if you do that there's always a chance that they're going, going off but actually it's not a terrible result could have been worse could have hit the blue and end up leaving one on but as it happened it didn't matter because he could pop one uh, but he didn't quite get on the black or anything really so just having to play a bought colour and to be fair to him he could have well played safe there but I think given that he'd already won two frames he was probably not playing safe in this frame so he went for it. I was, however, playing safe because I was playing for pride and did want to win this frame. I didn't want my handicap, you know, if we did play play another another frame or we play again, I didn't want my handicap to have to go up to 25 or whatever uh, when I felt like I could compete. Uh, so just another safety. 
I'm pretty happy with that one. Covered most of the reds with the yellow, but there is this one here which you can play safe off. Plays nicely there, gets some nice side spin on that and ends up running almost behind the blue, but pretty much exactly on the cushion. So, And I play that wrong. I end up I actually wanted to hit the red near the pink really thin, but I missed it and ended up hitting the red behind it. But knowing there was a red behind it, I did specifically aim very thin, so I knew that there was always a chance that that might happen. And you're trying to get me behind the blue, so scrap what I, was, what I was saying about him not playing safe in this frame. He did definitely play some safety in this frame. And uh, that was more like what I was trying to do last time. And tap on the table for Randy, because again, that. that one of my best safety shots of the evening and snooking him on everything or at least snooking him on, on anything that would mean an easy safety shot and he does at least get a red and he's left me this tempter cut into the corner uh, which I play and get nicely and I get a little bit of good fortune to bring the black out into a portable position because I wasn't intending to cannon the red uh, I was hoping that the white would go up towards the um, up towards the bulk area. So, and he's going to play the rest here. Oh, he's played it nicely though. Oh, he's oh, I thought he I thought he screwed it in then. Uh, but yeah, obviously the reds, <laughs> the, the, the colours are mostly up the other end of the table. So just the pink here, he can play off. He went for it. It was, as I think I've said before, the middle pockets in this table are very brutal. It was going to be an amazing pot if that went in. And now all the colours are up the other end of the table, and all the reds are down this end of the table. So try and play a plant and screw through the pack, um, which kind of works, but just sticks on that red a bit. So I'm having to queue over for this black into the corner. Play it safely, uh, slowly and I play that very nicely. Generous tap on the table from Andy. And, uh, but the black covers the red I wanted to play. So I have to play this one into the middle, which again, I played pretty well. And honestly, I think I was playing for the green there, but I'm happy that I'm on the pink. But I'm pretty straight here, so just, just taking the points really and making sure I'm not snooking on anything. Uh, to give me the extra points and then to um, look for a safety shot but well, I actually went for the pot there I think and it didn't go right but 15 break that is my highest break of the evening so I'll take that and got a decent 30 point lead now would have been more if I hadn't gone in off on the break possibly but then you never know what would happen after that so a nice red trying to cut this green in but doesn't get the pot and ends up cannoning the yellow so I wouldn't have been down on a red anyway so what am I playing here safety or am I going for pot I went for a pot it's possibly the wrong choice well it's certainly the wrong choice when it doesn't go in and I've left this red below the black. But he doesn't quite get into it and doesn't get on the black, so he's having to play safe off the yellow, I think. Yeah. Trying to get him behind the blue, not quite though. Uh, but still, only well, really left me a long one. Well, I try and take that long one and then screw back to Bork, which I actually do screw back to Bork, but the red has come up the table and ended up being nice for the middle pocket, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, which ends up with the pot now. Is he going to land on the black or is he going to cover it with the red? I think he's okay, he is okay, he's playing this black. Yeah, that's okay. But the red doesn't go in, and just that double kiss as well. It's just meant it's registered over the well, close to the pocket for me. It's a little bit thin, but hopefully I can get this in. And again, a fairly fortuitous kiss on the red means I've got a chance of the black. 
again, nothing on position here, just trying to get the points, which is what I do. So we've still got a 30 point lead. Still plenty of reds left though, but can I get a safety shot here? Possibly try and take this long red on, but look to leave the uh, cue ball up there. Yeah, I'm not even sure I took the red on, I'm just looking to leave the cue ball up in Bork and put that red back amongst the, the pack. Although the cue ball's come up away from Bork a little bit more than I would have wanted. So, good cue ball. There. Left me tight on this cushion, so can I do the opposite, leave the cue ball on the other cushion and leave the red? No. I tried to knock the red past the green. I thought I had a bit more to play with than I did, but I didn't and ended up leaving it. Well, not leaving it on, but leaving that shot. Um, now I've got a chance to cut this red to the middle though, but I don't, I actually, I think I was playing the long red there, I don't really know why or what what I was doing there. I was a long way off it if I was playing the long red, if I was playing the safety shot I was also a long way off getting it safe, so not ideal. Just a safety shot from me, trying to get in behind the brown but it didn't quite work out very well and left this thin red to the corner but he's not taking it on. He said he rolled off there so I think he must have been trying to uh, get behind the green and just, it just rolled off. Not sure. So again just a safety shot from me but left a long red tempter but he's turning it down for this uh, sort of shot to nothing of the red below the line and he's played it well didn't go in but he's played it well so the cue ball's going to be well into balk and not a huge amount for me to go up apart from a very similar shot really just need to avoid the black but I hit it too thick and now kind of get away with it or oh, I've left a couple of medium long reds I guess that might have a chance of going in played it at a good pace it's gone in well I say he's played at a good pace he probably wanted to roll a little bit further than that with the cue ball uh, he's played the double on the pink Ooh, I thought it was going to clip off the red and go in which it didn't unfortunately so I've left that red for me, but oh, this table is just so quick. My table on my club, that would have stopped a foot short of the pocket, probably. But uh, never mind. You know, I can't complain. I've been playing on this table now for, at this point, probably like three hours. So should really have gotten the pace right. Um, but still got a useful lead still here. And another pretty good pot in that middle pocket, which... Um, as I said before, the middle pockets are pretty bad, uh, pretty, not bad, pretty um, unforgiving, so I'm pretty happy with the red, but yeah, the black was very disappointing. Uh, I guess the only good thing is the black didn't go in and have covered, uh, and it's acting as a goalkeeper for the pocket, but can he, can he cut this one in? He can, which, so that was kind of irrelevant, because he's managed to cut that in, and um, you know, obviously the black is over the pocket, and it shouldn't be too difficult to... Right. It's be fair to me, we played it to bring that red into play, we, where he could have just played on the loose red to the middle. So uh, he tried, you know, tried a bit, a bit of uh, exhibition shots, and that is a, a really good pot. And he's going to be nicely on the blue, I think, as well. Could you just do the bounce off the top cushion, the bark cushion rather? Uh, and again, another nice pot. Left himself a little hampered on this red though. But he's got himself a well back into this frame. And is that going to drop in? It's not. It's not dropped in and he's used the black as a bit of a blocker. So I'm having to play this off the cushion as a snooker. Which I get the red in but I don't 
I wanted to hit it a little bit harder and thinner than that to come out for the black and uh, didn't quite work so trying to cut the black in um, you know not far off but it was a risky one because I was always going to be going up for the yellow I mean if the black had gone in it would have been great but obviously it didn't and it was uh, it's left that yellow oh, but he missed it as well and um, yeah, so was, but it's pretty safe, so I'm just trying to get back up the ball with the cue ball. I hit it a bit thinner than I wanted to. I wanted the yellow to be more towards the black cushion, but the cue ball's pretty good. Um, but it doesn't matter because that's another excellent pot, and it's going to be nicely on the green. Unless, well, his cue ball needs to slow down a little bit. Mm, just run a bit further than he would have liked, uh, but a good pot nonetheless. Uh, he's unlucky catching the black there, but actually, well, I say unlucky, I mean, he probably would have ended up back in balk if he hadn't caught the black, and, okay, he might have had the double on or an, e on an easy safety, but at least he, he has actually got a chance of putting it here, and he wasn't far off. He was able to leave the cue ball in balk, and the brown is gone. I mean, okay, it's not safe, but this is a difficult pot for me, so... And sometimes it's better to leave a tempter than, uh, uh, than nothing at all. And uh, that was attempted, but I got away with it because the brown came away from the pocket and didn't come back towards the white. Mm, but yeah, that, I think that was pot attempt. It didn't work out. And where's this brown going? Well, it's safe, so I'm going to try the double here. And I just hold my hands up there and just, uh, yeah, just got a skinny little. So that was the other fluke I was talking about. I got a skinny little kiss off the blue, which got Brown to go in. But I'm happy with the blue. Uh, that was a good pot. And pink. So I just need this pink to win the frame. To make sure of it anyway. And I get it. So that is a frame I managed to pinch. And, you know, the points difference was pretty uh, considerable in the end. So, you know, I think 20 is probably a fair... Can I get this black ink to make it? No completely queued across it, nearly fluked it, and then fouled <laughs> at the end. Uh, and then panicked because I wasn't sure, I wasn't exactly sure how much points were left. Just talking about whether we've got time for another, but unfortunately I didn't, so that's where we uh, called it a night. We've been playing for a good three hours at that point, I think. Uh, maybe more. So yeah, I think 20 is a fair handicap at the moment, uh, if we do manage to play a game, which I think we will. I uh, I work actually quite close to where Andy's club is, so um, and I'm not I'm not there all the time, I'm there probably like every six to eight weeks, so hopefully we can get another couple of games in, maybe uh, you know two or three times a year or something like that, and uh, we can see how we get on. And um, you know, if I do manage to win a set, set of three uh, or a best of three then we revise the handicaps basically that's up so that's what that's what I want to do anyway um, and we will still hopefully play for scratch from scratch for Andy's channel and you never know I might pinch one from scratch at some point and uh, we'll see but anyway that's all from me thanks for watching thanks again to Andy for hosting um, if if, uh, if you're ever in Shrewsbury Andy give me a shout and we'll play at my club and you'll be shocked at how slow they were uh, if you got this far in the video please like give it a thumbs up all that jazz subscribe if you're not a subscriber that really does help I've had a real boost of subscribers recently so thank you to all my new subscribers and I'll see you in the next video